All right, here we go. This is the professional welterweight division. Introducing first and fighting. Out of the deja vu blue corner. Six feet, one inch tall, 170 pounds. Sponsored by Dapper Jets Barbershop. Country Oven. Nevro, Neuro Fitness and Dog Fighter. Making his professional debut, representing Fuse MMA. Fighting out of Clinton Township, Michigan, G.I. Josh Bruckner. And his opponent fighting out of the Empowered.TV red corner. Six feet, one inch tall, 170 pounds. Representing Bushido MMA. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan. Willis Silverback Black. Be interesting to see Bruckner's game plan and how he's going to deal with the athleticism of Willis Black. Yeah. Josh Bruckner is extremely athletic himself, though. So, I mean. Absolutely, but. I, I agree, but I, I mean I haven't trained with both of them, but I trained with Willis, and that man is so <laughs> dang strong. It's, it's weird. Like I, I have submissions. I, I'll catch him, peep, him things that usually I'll submit. You know, a pretty decent Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy with, and he would just here pop out like, "Hey, here, here I am." You know what I'm talking about, Josh? It's yeah, no, absolutely. It, it's weird. He's not normal. No. And he Whoa. hits hard. He's yeah. such a good person too. You know, he runs the boys and girls club. He did not wind this. This he was not winding his shots. Yeah, Willis looks very calm. Yeah, and you want to talk about somebody with vicious knees? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's We've seen them. another guy that can just jump out of the cage. Yeah. Oh, literally, like <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, man, this is a, a tall test for both guys. Yeah. Really, really testing their games tonight. Oh, it's insane. This is like we said this earlier. A, I, I, can't, I, I don't even understand their coaches for accepting <laughs> this fight, either of them. It shows how much confidence that both corners have in their, their guys. Nice inside leg kick by Willis. Yeah, this is because this is this is not the fight you want for your debut pro, and this is not the fight you want when you're one and zero. Oh. So no, the, the, you know this, this is a this fight is, that you take before you go to the UFC. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice time high kick by uh, Josh Bruckner, beautifully timed. Yeah, he got clipped a little bit on the way out of that though. Yeah, absolutely. Nice take yeah. there. Well, Willis. Looking to sweep immediately. Look at that sneaky little guy. I think he's sneaking in about something over here. <laughs> and one thing I can tell you with, with Josh being in this position is uh, hard to get out of this. Hard to get out of this. Yeah, he's uh, doing an excellent job of kind of just smothering Willis against the cage. Yeah. I'm interested to see right here because you know he's been at Bushido, you know they have phenomenal jiu-jitsu there. Mm. I think I, I really want to see how much he's, you know, evolved off his back because how, he's not there very often. How long has it been? Um, since probably since we, his last fight. Well, I think he was there a little bit before that. So I mean, yeah. that's been what every about okay. four or five months. I mean, it's time to evolve a little bit there. Yeah. He, the, I think the question is, how, how, Willis has a, a, a funky schedule, so it's difficult for him to get in during normal hours. Yeah. yeah. So my question is, how frequently has he been at Bushido? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's always something to wonder. But that comes with the thing of being a pro fighter. Yeah, it's just not something you can play. You got to do it. Yeah, you know, just, yep. you don't have a choice. Absolutely. Anybody, anybody can get played fighter and they get out there and get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? He's doing a good job controlling uh, and, and, and holding Josh Ooh, nice down. Elbow. And, yeah, and some nice quick elbow. Elbow. Yeah. yeah. And if nothing else, I think he's gonna get stood up if it doesn't get moving here. You know. He's just as active from the bottom, I'd say, at this point. Yeah, absolutely. He calm and chill. Both of them do. Yeah. Well, Bruck this is just a natural fighter. Both of them are, really. Oh, yeah. Bruckner is one of my favorite amateur fighters to watch. I mean, you know, it's like, and then when I heard he was going pro, I was so excited. Then I yeah. thought I was fighting Willis Black. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, you know. Wow, like, what a nice pass. Beautiful uh -oh. pass by Bruckner. Really nice pass. 
See, this is the problem here, though, is that uh, you, you, athleticism. You're going to see it explode. Roll, it's yeah. going to explode. Watch. Well, this has got to be careful, though, because Bruckner might transition to arm triangle right here. Yeah, a lot of time left still. Now he's still. in a crucifix. From my, from my understanding, well, he just sat up. About, <laughs> about Bruckner was that he came in with no wrestling or anything. He just came in yeah. fresh. And yeah. that's amazing because he's so, seemed like he's so composed in all aspects yeah. of the game. Yeah. And it, it's, it's amazing to watch. Yeah, you know? it's funny. I remember him at four aces, God, five years ago, and he was not at all this good and, and obviously really, really young but he had amazing work ethics already. He was in great shape, yeah. and he just, the kind of guy that, that, that he will outwork you. And, and you look at him right now, he's in ridiculous shape and super athletic, so if you, it is rare to see a, a work ethic when you're, when you're that guy. Excellent reversal by Willis. Let's see what yeah. he can do with about 30 seconds left in a round, and this is a guy that's got vicious ground and power. do not want him on top of you. Ever. All it takes is a couple of shots and your night's over. Hey, have you yeah. ever ever seen a gorilla hit somebody <laughs> on the ground? <laughs> That's why I call him the silver bag. I mean, when, when, he, when he hits something, he, he hurts it. Nice yeah. short elbow. It's very nice. Watch it. And he's doing an excellent job of being composed within Bruckner's guard. Yeah, 15 now, seconds, so time is short. Nice shot. Careful, careful, oh. careful. Oh! Oh! Big shots from Willis Black at the end of the yeah. round. Might have stole that round there, man. Yeah. That's a difficult. Whoa. Bruckner in a lot of trouble. Bruckner in a lot of trouble. It's over. Whoa. Willis Black finishes Josh Bruckner at the very end at of the, the first buzzer. round. Yeah, he was out. He was out. That's crazy. That's what I was saying, though. But imagine now the lucky next guy is going to be facing Josh Bruckner. An 0-1, 170. I'm telling you right now, Ooh. Willis Black is the most physically gifted dude we've ever seen step inside of a WXC cage. And it was like not even a, uh, let's see. Oh, God. No, hey, and, jo and Josh told him to stop it. Stop it. Like, stop. We, we don't do that. Hey, that's respect right there, you know? Yeah. And it's like, he's young. Yeah. But that shows you, like, I mean, I don't know if you believe in this or not. This is for. Anyways. Josh. I thought it was before. I don't know. I have to see the replay. Well, I think, uh, you know, I don't know. Do we have the time running on, the, on that? Time running. If we could get the time. It was close. Yeah, it was really close. That was close. I think the missed shot was after the bell. I don't think the shot that knocked him out was, but I'm not sure. All right. Absolutely. Welterweight standing in the middle of the WXC cage as professionals. Four minutes and 59 seconds into round number one. Your winner by knockout, Willis Silverback.